Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. Welcome back to World War II, Charlie Send. Uh, today's mission isn't quite a historical reenactment, but it is based on a real RAF bombing mission that happened on the uh, 30th of January, 43, which was the first daylight raid on Berlin. So we have learnt that Hermann Goering, Reich Marshal and Commander-in-Chief of the Luftwaffe, is scheduled to give a major speech on the wireless later this morning for the 10th anniversary of Adolf Hitler's seizing of power in Germany. Your mosquitoes will destroy the main radio transmitter tower in Paris, timing your attack for 1100 hours, just as Goering should be starting his broadcast. If the tower is successfully destroyed, your secondary objective is to attack the German headquarters in Paris, located at the Hotel Maurice. Mustang fighters will provide an escort for the Mosquito bombers, and to cover your return to Britain, flights of Thunderbolts and Spitfires will perform a flower operation attacking the Luftwaffe airfields on the route. So your objectives today, Ramrod 1, destroy the transmitter tower on the south bank of the Seine at 11 o'clock exactly. Ramrod 2, attack the German headquarters at the Hotel Maurice. Flower 1, attack the Luftwaffe fighter airfield at Cormay en Vexin. And Flower 2, attack the Luftwaffe fighter airfield at Fecon. Uh, weather today, the wind is five miles an hour from the west, so you'll have a slight tailwind on the way out. Uh, there are broken clouds at 13,000 feet. Temperature is 50 Fahrenheit, 10 centigrade. Visibility is good, pressure 29.68 inches, 1,005 millibars. Mosquitoes, you're based at Aria Ford, expect to take off runway 22. Uh, everybody else, you're based at Aria Friston, Expect to take off at runway 2-3. Uh, the F-10 map today is set to map only, so you'll have to do uh, re uh, realistic navigation. Uh, remember to take, uh, set your compass and altimeter uh, after takeoff, and watch out for gyroscope drift. Spitfires, you do not have the range to get to Paris and back, so uh, either uh, attack the uh, closer airfield, which is I think at Fecon, or if you do want to go all the way to Paris, uh, expect to be walking back to Blighty. Estimated flight time to the target for the Mosquitoes is 44 minutes at cruise power or 40 minutes at your one hour climb power. If you complete both of the Ramrod objectives, uh, Mosquitoes and Mustangs, you may optionally join in the flower attacks on the two Luftwaffe airfields. Weapon restrictions, uh, you can take whatever you'd like. I would recommend using rockets against the transmitter tower and bombs against the headquarters building. Rules of engagement, Try to avoid collateral damage where possible, but you are attacking a uh, city centre, so it might not always be possible. Uh, radio frequencies, quickly, you've got a radio frequency for your flight. Uh, you've got the cockpit presets uh, there if you need them. I would suggest that anybody that's going to Paris or near Paris, uh, if you want to use the uh, ramrod frequency uh, as guard, if you're staying near the channel, if you want to use the flower frequency as guard, but it's up to you, uh, really. That's what I'd suggest. The radio transmitter that Herman Gary is going to be using is uh, on 139 megahertz, which is preset D. Onto the ramrod navigation sheet. Uh, mosquitoes, well, mosquitoes and anybody going to Paris, your first waypoint is at Dieppe. So for mosquitoes, that's 138 degrees across the channel uh, from uh, and from Friston, it's 152 degrees. Uh, from Dieppe, you want to skirt around the, uh, the edge of the town to avoid flak. And then it is uh, southeast four miles to the lakes at Arc la Bataille. Uh, from there, you can either fly 142 magnetic or follow the railway tracks uh, first east, then southeast, uh, 25 miles to the railway junction at Forge les Eaux. Most of your flight, if you go this route, will be following the railway tracks. Uh, from Forge les Eaux, it is uh, roughly 157 degrees, again following the railway uh, 47 miles southeast to the lakes at Sergi. Uh, from Sergi, which is just past the uh, the airfield at Cormay, so if you're attacking the airfield, uh, if you get to the lakes at Sergi, you've gone slightly too far, but it'll be off your left. Uh, from the lakes at Sergi, you should be able to see the Eiffel Tower in the distance, uh, 141 degrees, 15 to 20 miles away, and then you can fly it towards the Eiffel Tower and then head into Paris uh, visually from there. You've got some uh, recon photos there. Uh, Dieppe is at the mouth of a river valley, so uh, look out for the, the uh, dip in the river valley where you uh, enter the town. The lakes at Arc Bataille are your first sort of waypoint inside France. If you're following the railway tracks, you need to turn left at the first set of lakes. And then there's a sort of fork in two valleys. You need to take the left hand 
fork of the two valleys, and that will take you uh, yeah, following the railway tracks. At uh, the railway junction at Forge Les Eaux, you'll be approaching from the north, and you want to uh, turn slightly left at the uh, at the railway junction. It's easy to get mixed up which which uh, railway line you're following. So uh, if in doubt there, go south or slightly southeast. If you look out for the village of Forge Les Eaux, you might spot some uh, chimney smoke or something from the buildings there. Sergi is the, the lake on the yeah, 20 miles outside of Paris. They're, the lakes are fairly visible from quite a few miles away. So if you pop up, you should be able to spot those lakes. And uh, the airfield at Cormai will be on your left there. And uh, yeah, the approach into Paris, you'll fly towards the Eiffel Tower, which you'll be able to see on the horizon, and then pick up the line of the Champs-Élysées and the Arc de Triomphe to take you into Paris city centre. Onto the Ramrod target sheet. You have an aerial view of Paris there, so you'll be approaching from the left, roughly uh, west to east, flying along the Champs-Élysées past the Arc de Triomphe uh, and the Place de la Concorde. Uh, look out for the Jardin de Tuileries, and the headquarters building for the Ramrod 2 target is immediately north of the Jardin de Tuileries, and you can look out for the smoke from the chimneys of that building. Uh, if you're attacking the main uh, transmitter tower, uh, you go yeah, past the uh, Jardin de Tuileries, past the Louvre, and then there are two islands in the Seine. Uh, there's the Ile de la Cité with uh, Notre Dame Cathedral, and then the Ile Saint-Louis. And the transmitter tower is uh, on the uh, south bank of the Seine, just southeast of the second island. The transmitter tower, uh, you've got a photo of it there. It is just off the river. Uh, it's a fairly prominent red and white uh, radio transmitter tower in an industrial area. And the Hotel Maurice, which is your secondary objective, is a sort of triple wide uh, Parisian uh, architectural building. It's on the corner of, uh, of two roads. And yeah, look for the look for the smoke coming from the chimney immediately north of the Jardin de Tuileries. Onto the flower sheet, your first objective or the nearest objective is the uh, the airfield at fecon benouville which is uh, just across the channel. So it's 178 degrees, 71 miles from Aria Friston. And it is a small airfield with a single runway uh, set at the top of some cliffs. The second airfield is at uh, cormaille en fixin which I've already discussed is, uh, is just a mile or so uh, north of the lakes at uh, Sergi. You'll be able to spot it quite easily if you're following the railway tracks into Paris uh, on your left wing. Large open area uh, of airfield, two runways at right angles, and uh, several large hangars that are fairly prominent. Uh, so look out for those. Uh, your primary targets at the airfields are any fighter aircraft either uh, parked or scrambling to take off. And then after that, uh, any targets you like at the airfield for example, the flak positions, fuel and ammo dumps, uh, radar equipment, uh, control towers, that sort of thing. Uh, the last sheet is the historical background, which we don't need to go through now, but that's an article from the RF Memorial Flight uh, website that goes through the details of the real historical mission that yours today is based on. Roger, today's flight, Reynolds, Ramrod, Mozzie, Tanky with Bean, Matrix with Harath, Sock and Simba. Sizemore, Ramrod, Mozzie, RT Jigsaw, Cover with Stoat and Lucky. Massey, Ramrod, Mosquito, Shrack. Gordon, Ramrod, Mozzie, uh, sorry, Mustang, Escort, Fire, Poosh, Blight. Hayes, same, Signori, Cap, Filling Ill, High, Grand Speed. Wickham, Flower, Achtung, Spitfeuer, Drop, Red. And that's my lot, guys. I'm reading 156 on my gyro, which is correct for our current magnetic heading. Anyone not reading 156 on the DG? I got 156. Well, yeah, 156, sorry. Just to check, Cap, was the altitude three, about 310 feet for everyone? Yep, sorry, I screwed up. What's QFE? 2968. Yep, 300 feet. That's going to give you a field elevation like of 280 feet, something like that. Yeah, and you're within a few feet, guys. I'm heading to the runway when you're ready. Yeah, that's okay if there's a slight discrepancy. Uh, yeah, at the end, this is visual flight, guys, so just don't hit the ground. <laughs> don't hit the ground? The plane looks like a spit, but taxi's so much better. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> oh yeah. Oh god help me viewers, I'm rusty as nails in this. Slash every warbird. Left cap. Right, I'm on the runway guys, that's me, yeah. Yeah, I'm adding some flapping guys, because we've got like a 200 foot runway that ends in a giant cliff and lots of fire. Roger, 10 degrees flap. Roger, propeller full forward, 10 degrees flap. Real ledge procedure, well. Roger, ready checks, cap ready. Cap. Yep, a little tight back here. Hold on, give me a second. Roger, sorry. We doing interval, guys, like three seconds or? Yeah, for sure. How do, uh, uh, I'm gonna tune my second radio. What was it, 139 for the German thing? Four set. Lead rolling, wish me luck. Rock and roll. All right. Oh, ain't nothing but a thing, viewers. Ain't nothing but a thing. Two Airball. You know, when I said right roll, I lied. I'm going back left. Roger. Four's up. You think this is the real quiet? It is. <laughs> I'm back down to 2600 RPM, guys. What do you got on your money for pressure? 40? Yeah, 40. For God's sake, don't lose visual of me, guys. You'll never find me again. Roger. We're in that very rare position where the DG and the uh, magnetic compass marry up, so we're all good, guys. Guys, that time when you look back and left and see a load of fire at the base, that some idiots just crashed. <laughs> you know that time? <laughs> oh, God. Dang. Better cut that out of the video. We know that's not going to happen. <laughs> Correct. All mistakes must be seen. Where's the fun in that scenery, eh? Yeah, and how, how, how else are they going to get better? Yep. Unless they're publicly humiliated. You guys doing like 280, no? Yes. Okay, I'm pushing it just a little bit. I'm going to form on Cap's right wing. I don't want to be that guy, but where's the autopilot button? <laughs> you could probably trim it out once once we you know stabilize on the speed.
Yeah, even with uh, the center line, the fuselage, it's like still really good. Yep, such an impressive plane. Yeah, I like it. I'm correcting back to heading. You know me, I get excited and lose my heading. <laughs> Roger. Oh, does anyone know what Dieppe looks like or what it is? It's a town, but what is, is there any features of Dieppe? There's probably a harbor. A town, so you should be a, uh, a port. Roger, I'm going to ask the viewers. Uh, viewers, does anyone know if there's any distinguishing features of DM? Any ramrods on 142 megahertz respond? Uh, second uh, ramrod on the yes, slide. Oh, okay. Ramrod, go ahead, Cap. Roger, I heard you guys. Uh, I will use this as my guard to speak to you. Um, can you please tell me the time you expect to be at DM? Size more flight within four we're um, in the air and uh, on the route. This channel. Roger, all heard. Okay, boys, uh, the time is they don't know. They will tell us when they're airborne. All right, guys, we're going to do some calculations. If we've been going 250 miles an hour, for how long? Anyone know when we took off? You've got your canopy open, hi. Oh, yes, sir. Right. Oh. It's intentional. You are so Mexican. <laughs> Man, I got my elbow out the window. I'm smoking a cigar. <laughs> I love it. My monster flapping in the wind. Guys, I can see France. France! Allo! Right, we are nearly at DM. Viewers, when I asked you to uh, tell me about DF, I was forgetting to read. Oh my god, I was forgetting to read the stream. So Fuck now, low. sorry, I'm trying to talk to the freaking viewers as well and do everything. My brain is tiny. We would have had to go low to avoid the radar guys, FYI. Ah, yeah. We're doing it right, you're doing it right, Cap. We're good. Viewers, I need you to look at the coast as we approach it and tell me where uh, you think we arrive at the coast and then tell me whether I need to go north or south to get to DM. Charlie didn't say I couldn't ask the stream for help. That was a pretty quick transit. Really, yeah, right? It shows how small the Battle of Britain was. It was sun over this bit of water and that's it. I mean, yeah, the channel is weak, man. People swim, swim across it all the time. Crazy people, but yes. Yeah, I was going to say, those people are nuts. All right, you lot, I need you to concentrate now. I'm going to start rising us in a minute, and we're going to look for Dieppe. I don't know what Dieppe looks like, but we've got to figure it out based on the maps and shit we've been given. Got it. Yeah, I got on my kneeboard here, don't you? Yeah, there's a little lump in the coast just south of Dieppe. Where's four? Four's gone, where's Cap, four? Size more flight, we will be arriving at DF at 10.49. 10.30. Where's Paul gone? I don't know, he, I, that's what I'm saying. He disappeared. Maybe he disconnected. Man. I've been looking at you all the time, Cap. I'm flying formation. Well, you better hurry up because the mozzies are right behind us. I'll uh, see if he DC'd or something. Hang on. These things are so hands on, it's hard to tab out. You know how it is. Yeah, yeah. Don't crunch it, for God's sake. 
Yeah, he's not, I, I think he's not in the frequency with us. Maybe he disconnected. He said it's di disconnected while he was flying and he, he crashed. All right, just hurry up and get back. We'll be at DF for a few minutes. Chop, chop. Yeah, I know, and tabbing out to, to type it. Oh, God. Anything. They didn't have to, the real pilots didn't have to worry about this shit. Exactly. All right, viewers, we need DF. I want DF. Where is DF? Everyone stop saying DF. You know what? I can't wait till the mozzie's here so I don't have to navigate in anymore and I don't have anything to do but have fun. Oh, this looks sexy. Yep. Uh, I reckon they could have hired us for uh, Dunkirk instead of those real pilots. I would agree with that. Uh, right, guys. Uh, I, I, I Don't do it because you're all flying formation, but I've got a picture of Dieppe Harbour on my kneeboard. I'm going to look for that harbour as soon as I get close. Thus far, I did not see a freaking harbour. I, uh, look. Does anyone see a harbour? I just see smokestacks. Uh... Okay, we've got to make a decision. We're either going to go uh, right or left down the coast until we find a big harbour. Harbour to the left. How far? Um, maybe 10 miles. I, it's hard to say. Is it... Visual, visual. Guys, roll left with me. That's probably it. I can't believe I'll be that any further out than that. You see it visually, yeah? Yeah, hi, we're going left. Guys, how do we check the amount of fuel in our fuselage tank? Look behind you on the left, over the left Jesus shoulder. Jesus Christ, how am I going to do that? Yeah, it's hard to see, but yeah. That is friggin' impossible, guys. Uh, I'll tell you right now, oh. we are... I'm empty, I'm going to wing tank left. Roger. Gap on wing tank left. Yeah, I still have a little left. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna wait till it runs out, then I'll switch. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that also. I'll, I'll turn to the left one. Well done, Signore. This is indeed the App Harbor. You saved the day. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that was gonna be embarrassing for me. Yeah, well, yeah, well we would have had to just go home and lose the mission. Guys, I'm gonna start climbing. Climb with me. Roger. It's all good, Cap. I got checks on my kneeboard also, so yeah, we're doing good. I'm doing backup navigation in case we get lost. Uh, we'll help out. Thanks, hi. Someone's got to be the responsible adult here. <laughs> Alright, boys, I'm going to check in for the mozzies. Mozzies, Cap, on 142. Just remember, this is uh, German France to our right, so I'm looking for bandits in case. Go ahead. Keep your head on a swivel. Uh, just an update no, no. on that expected ETA, please. Second watch flight for uh, 10. Steps on, say again. AAA, watch out, boys. AAA. Second Mozzie flight is still ETA 10.39. Thank you. Keep a distance there. Yeah, I pulled up to give you guys room. Yeah, it's good. If we get around 5,000 cap, uh, AAA won't get us. Roger, I'll take my time. Back. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Guys, mozzies are running late. We've got 13 minutes to wait, so suck it up. Find a book. We're waiting for the mozzies here, right? Yes, we're going to do a, a large orbit clockwise. Sounds good. Roger, yeah, let's, let's, we should, we should climb to 5,000 and just make sure we're safe. This map does look so much better, man, I love it. Mm -hmm. The force back, uh, making a way across the channel. Roger, we're at Dieppe, um, I've got no way of getting you here, but on the DG it was 151, the 70 miles. Good to have you back, man, come up, come down, we're gonna need you. Roger, copy, go max continues. For visual references, when you get here, there's a... There's a long, um, uh, what do you call it, a dock, uh, a... Like a pier, like a, a long pier, pier with uh, it has light a lighthouse on the end of it. And then a couple smokestacks and an industrial sort of port, small. That's what it looks like, though. Yeah, since we're already flying here at 5,000 feet, you don't need to go that low. So it's going to be easier for you to see it. Don't cross that low, just cross around 3,000 or 5,000. You look at our 2 o'clock low, guys, you will see a smash... Nazi airfield. Oh yeah, looks like the moon. Wow. Totally smashed, that's crazy. Now my tank is empty, switching to left. 
Anyone know how big the uh, wing tanks are? 60 gallons each. Roger. Say a gallon an hour at cruise speed, maybe two hours if you manage your engine properly. 60 minutes each wing. Roger guys, right, you wanted 5,000, you've got 5,000, T's and P's are good. We are sitting pretty. I'm out on your left, just in case someone tries to jump us or something, I can watch, you're sick. Roll you, yeah. We are the three musketeers, a Californian, a Brit, and a friggin' Mexican. No one messes with us, boys. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one with the mustache on it, and the... Mm -hmm. Yeah, hi Gonzalez. <laughs> and and the <laughs> All right, guys, that's our first orbit complete. Looking at the time, it is 10.32. We have seven minutes to chew up. But I love the Milson missions, boys. I do. Yeah, every now and then it's fun, I love it, especially World War II. Mm -hmm. That was actually really fun when we did the uh, the last uh, AMVI or whatever those guys are. Roger, I wouldn't want to do that every week, but as a one-off, yeah. Exactly. Like once, in, once in a while. Man, Tom Cruise is so friggin' lucky to have a TF-51. Totally. It's amazing. Oh my god, man, that's a dream, yes. So the airport that I, uh, the regional airport that I practiced at a couple of times, there was a P-51 that took off, and I'm starting to feel like it could have been Tom Cruise. Mm. <laughs> Fun thing, there's a lot of rich guys with P-51s in the U.S., there's a lot of them. So, like, a lot, like, more than 50. Oh, definitely, definitely, yeah. But they, they are, oh god, they cost like five million and god knows how much they cost to maintain and keep flying. Uh, yeah, Harrison Matrix, we're just crossing the uh, Le Havre just north of it, uh, Angels 2-0. Four, how are you getting on? The four is almost across the channel. The waves look pretty cool on that water down there. Very nice. Yes, they do, don't they? All right, boys, we are completing orbit number two. Time is now 10.37. Two minutes. Um, stay off the comms while I try and contact them. Yeah, mozzie, special message. My Mustangs are at 7,000 feet over Dieppe, waiting for you. Uh, watch your ETA, please. Uh, Reynolds flight has gone south via Le Havre. Uh, we'll not be meeting you at Dieppe. Any mozzies on 142 uh, that are going to Dieppe, please respond. Uh, Cap, this is the second mozzie flight. We're approaching Dieppe now. Um, imagine if you could try in uh, approximately five minutes. Rough altitude you'll be at. On the deck. We're at 7k and one of us has lights on. Please let us know when you're here. Roger, I'll keep an eye out for you. Uh, we are four ship um, in two pairs. Roger, over. All right, boys, I've got good news yeah, and bad news. Yeah, the flight is the other flight of Aussies. We're at the harbour right. and we're about 20 minutes to target. Yes. OK. Um, half of the Aussies have gone t uh, gone rogue and gone to the harbour and they're doing just doing their own weird thing. So they won't have anything to do with us. The other half are four minutes out. They will be on the deck entering the harbour. Um, uh, sorry, entering Dieppe. Uh, we've got to keep an eye out for them. Incoming fire left. Incoming fire left. One good shot. Copy one. Looks like you got damaged left engine. I'd suggest swapping over tanks. One, this is three. I'm gonna do a BDA on your ship. Triple A, triple A, triple A. Something's going on. Yeah, Roger. 
Yeah, that wasn't on one four two cap. Uh, they said that on guard. They must have. Yeah. Anyone know what that AAA went for? Uh, probably for the guy flying low. Me. Yep, it is. I got visual on the mosquitoes right under us. No, they're right under us. They're right under us. Go, 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 go. Tell them to break left. Mosquitoes break left. Uh, mosquitoes, we're being told uh, you should break left to avoid AAA. Cat, mozzies, copy that. Uh, we have visual on you. Roger, you carry on, we'll pick you up. Over. Do you see them, guys? Because I'm, I'm in the blind. Roger, over. I, I, I do, Cap. I'm following them. I, I, they just be dry. I'm just be dry also. I went down to 2,000 feet. What's your heading high? We're heading 180 now. 180. I'm gonna turn on my light so you can see me. Cap, come right 20 degrees, Cap. Uh, they're at uh, 300 feet above here. One is dead left engine. One is dead left engine. One RTB, two, your lead. Uh, just for the record, I don't think you have it two. I think it's just one, three, and four. Okay, if it's the high guy and I'm doing a right turn moving down, then that's me and I'm following them. All right, well done, boys. Paul, what's your progress? We're right over the little lakes here, Cap. You want to see the little lakes? Yeah, I'm right behind the mosquito, so I think I'm in front of you guys, but yeah, we're joined, we're, we're good. I guess we gotta thank the German AAA for lighting him up. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, four's got visual on the flight, uh, heading over to the lake. Well done for getting back four. Hi, what speed are they making? These guys are moving, man, they're like doing 320, 320. Watch it. Bloody hell. 320, yep, I'm up 3,000 RPMs, Go controlling for. the pressure now. Alright, viewers. Here Go for 2700 RPM, 45 manifold pressure, that's maximum continuous. Roger, max continuous. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm keeping up with them in that setting. Alright, viewers, uh, update. We've yeah, been, been to 46 manifold pressure. We've Come been on. to DF. We're the placard. We waited for them and we now have our charge. Uh, I'm if you guys lose me, I can pull up a little high so you can visualize. Mozzie uh, flights, uh, Matrix and I just passing over the town of Sophia, uh, Charlie Quebec 56. Alright, guys, we're with them. Now the real mission begins. Roger, yeah, make sure to switch tanks every now and then so you don't get one wing heavy. Great idea, I can already feel that. Uh, you know how to check the, the gauges, right? Left and right leg. Yeah, but they're almost impossible. They're on the floor, Cap. Doors are not too hard to spot. Just look down. They're right below you. I'm just going to change every five minutes and it should be fine. Got it. Yeah, even more, man. Even ten. Eh? It does, it's not that... Uh... Me too. We should just all switch at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, we can, we can remind each other. Sounds good. I got 75 gallons on my left tank and full right tank right now, so I'm gonna switch to the right. There is smoke ahead, half past 12, about 10 miles. Oh, a triple A on that town, guys, watch out, triple M, triple A for right left. here a little bit. Mustangs, triple A left, avoid. Check the town, 9 o'clock, triple A. Mazi's triple A from the left. We should be good. Who do those crowds think they are? They're very brazen today. Mm. Goering's speech will be starting in 15 minutes. That's on um, 139. We're riding waypoint 3 right now. It's all going to plan, guys, and that usually means something's about to go wrong. If I'm on the right of the formation, I should be... The 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock should be my business. And if you guys are on the left, your 12 o'clock to 9 o'clock should be your business. Roger. Alright, try and see what that smokestack is. 
what that is? Let me see. Is it a plane? I don't think so, man. I think it's just... Roger. I almost hit a steeple. No, that's a truck. That's a burning truck. Okay, I've been told it's La Resistance ambushed a truck. Nice. Which, I, if I remember, the retribution was the whole village gets murdered. Oh boy. Yeah, pretty nasty stuff. Viva la resistance. These mozzies are real beasts, but I'm glad I'm not driving one. They're quite stressful to operate. There's something about just these low-tech missions, dude. They're the best. Yeah, it's because it's pure flying and no bullshit. Right. I love it, man. Me too. And the only thing that can kill you, really, is your lack of skill getting shot by guns. You know, in a Hornet, you can get shot by a missile at 20 miles and not really be your own fault. Right. Also, I feel this is like when you really have your head out the window all the time. When you fly a Hornet or an F-16, you have the head looking down like 80% of the time. Right. Yeah, that's a real pilot prop. That's a real, real life problem as well. Yeah, we are two, five miles. This is rear flying, like you said. Just up. visual, don't crash, kill the plane, have fun. Oh, is there any idea what leg of the journey we're on? I'm obviously completely lost. Just past waypoint three, we're the two more legs to go to target. Really? Wow, that's gone quick. This is the last long stretch, and then we'll be there. I'm looking right and behind us, right and behind us looks clear. Lovely. Lucky we have good weather too. Yep. That said, in real life you might prefer bad weather because less chance of being visualized and intercepted. Well agree. In that right. Also a lot easier just to punch the gas and get out and escape whatever. Yep. Disappear. Yay, we got another Mustang joining us. Number four. Woo. Hello, four. Welcome back. Glad you could make it back, Grand Speed. I'm the Mustang to your three o'clock, man. I'm the one to the very right. Roger. I'm going to go to your right and spray it a little bit. Yeah, sounds good. We're going to keep visual on our 12 o'clock and three o'clock area. Check this and peace guys, everything looking good, good fuel, everything. Lead in the green. Yep, we can switch tanks over about now if you guys want. Alright, switching. Yeah, switch. Alright, I got Eiffel Tower ahead of us. Yeah, I'm friggin' Eiffel Tower, boys. No oh, way. Me. Where are you? Oh, it is! 12 o'clock. Fence in, make sure you got your guns working and everything. Right, one of you guys want to drop back a couple of miles as uh, rear guard. We have a guy on the far right, that's about kind of like the same thing. Okay, yep, good enough. Far right, like your freaking politics, Signore. Roger. <laughs> I'm to the right here, close to the formation. Far right, I think, is me. Holy shit, I've just seen a hangar on our left. Possible airfield left and gunfire. Mozzie's gunfire left. Oh yeah, yeah, that's an airfield. We got an airfield on our left, yep. Keep a BDI on that, guys. There might be Luftwaffe on it. The this hill will cover us from the AAA. Those guys should crumble 109 soon if they saw us. I don't know if they've got the acceleration to catch up in time. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm trying to look back, but it's a dangerous game. I would just assume they're launching everything at this point. As long as it's not ME-262. Oh god. Nah, they're just testing it right now. It's not, they don't have it. Roger. What year are we in? 1943? 42? 43, I think. That's the primary objective for the flower flight, yeah? I think so. We'll hit it on the way back if we get a chance, guys. Alright, I see the smoke near our primary target. 
to the left Eiffel Tower. Roger, leaving it to the mozzies. If you want to cover us high, Grant, feet and in the rear, that would be great. Absolutely, and take a few looks back back every now and then. Please, I'm looking at your 6 o'clock all the time. Awesome. And I pushed off to the here. left a bit so I can watch the mozzie stick. You can stay right on them if you want for the good clips. Yeah, yeah. Their Bombay doors are open. For climbing above the Monty plate. Roger. In they go, guys. I'm gonna pop up a little bit here. Watch the frag from mosquito bombs. Something in the air, 10 miles ahead. Uh, Roger, visual. Passing over the arc now. Visual smoke. It's on my 9 o'clock here, passing over the arc. Oh, Triple A, watch out, boys. Move up and down, up and down. Don't blow yourself up, don't blow yourself up, please. Bombs detonated. Impacts, impacts, impacts. About five miles. You guys see that tower? Negative. Upper eyes on the tower, it is between a tall stack and two small stacks. Eyes on, eyes on. Weiterhin ein sehr gutes Einvernehmen möglich sei, wenn wir Sock, final to target. Schließen würden bei einem zweiten Angriff auf Finnland, das bedeutet die, die endgültige Verlustung Finnlands. Darüber hinaus selbstverständlich wird der Russen auf die schwedischen Erdfelder übergegriffen haben. Sock, hit tower. Good hit. Switching to bombs. Mission complete. Roger, we're uh, following him out. Pull them out. Taking heavy flat. Get low, get low in the building. Bandit 030. Negative 180, 180. 20 zero, Roger. A high meeting with them about the merge. Two more mozzies at target. I'm still with the first two mozzies. What shall I do? Fuck it. Uh, Grand Speed and I are going to disengage. Force merge. Engage five. Force merged. Engaging. To the south, Grand Speed. Splash. Hold well on. Keep them busy, guys. I'm just gone back and I'm protecting the next two mozzies. Roger, Roger, yeah. I'm turning back towards the target also. Let's call out the two other mozzies. They're searching for their targets. Splash, what? Well done, boys. What are the enemy types? I haven't seen any, but no, I don't know. Looks like 109. Huh. Just a 109 on fire, flying inverted here. Yeah, I'm watching that guy, right? <laughs> yeah, I think that was my sloppy job if you want to finish him off. Roger, I'm getting hit by AAA or evading. I'll try to get him. Sock, right engine, feathering. Two running all guns. 
All right, let's go and protect the mozzies. Remember, the mission is to protect the mozzies, guys. Roger, I'm coming back. This guy's just flying away. Yeah, four circling above the fire. The mozzie on protection just lost an engine. Is, are you following him? Yes, I'm trying to keep him safe. I'm also following one of the mozzies still over the target. Feather that prop, feather that friggin' prop. You okay, Senora? You still up? Senior is still up, looking for bandits. Roy, I'm here with two mozzies over the target. Roger, I see Caps following another one out. I'm kind of where Cap is. Yeah, this guy who's got one engine, I'm trying to see him out. Roger. The problem is he's going into friggin' France. He needs to turn around. I'm following one of them right now, going 300. I think he's going back. My guy's got lost, and they're trying to usher him in the right direction. Watch our six, Signore. Uh, Roger, I can turn back around and come back to you. Actually, don't worry about it. Don't worry, it's a waste. Right. Go right! Go right! Sock, my second engine's going out. I'm gonna have to ditch. I've got a field up ahead. Ditch it into the hotel. You guys wanna run the bus somewhere, or should I escort this mossy out by myself? Escort them out, it's probably the best thing you can do. God damn it, my mossy's lost both engines. I'll join you, hi, uh, if I can find. Location three. Looks like just south, east of the Eiffel Tower, running in on the hotel again. Roger. Okay, one is down. I'm, I'm very much alive. I'm in a field. I'm climbing. I'm heading three, one, five. Passing angels two. My mozzie's crashed. I'm sending him to the La Resistance. Guys, what back do you want? This mosquito is turning. I think back. He's turning back towards Paris. All right, I'll see you there. Angel three. We need to think about getting together, guys. Who's over Paris? I'm over Paris. Back over Paris. Senior's over Paris, over the Eiffel Tower. All right, I'll be there in three. Roger, Senior's over Paris. Angel I'm following a mosquito. Want me to join you guys? Yes, I think so. Roll your braking, defending. Cap, if you can climb up to us, that that would probably help. Watch out, four K and climbing. I'm right over the arc, guys. I don't see you. Senior's in a right-hand turn over the Eiffel Tower at 5500. And open right now. Cap trailing Signori one mile. Bro, you're up climbing. Once we're together, I suggest we head back to the next way, the previous waypoint and bomb that airfield to shoot the airfield up. Roger, do you remember where it was? Stand by. I think I can take us there. I got a mark on my kneeboard. Roger, or we can we can follow you in. It's the reciprocal of 141 for 20 miles. Okay, hi, I just saw you fly under us, so we'll fo I'll follow you, me and Kaffer here. Roger, I'm continuing my left hand turn here, I'm gonna roll out like 300 and then we'll correct from there. Rod. What happened to 4? Is he with us? 4 is with you. Alright, hi, do a thing. Alright guys, if we stay high we should see the airfield fairly far out. Yeah, this general direction, let's keep going, 300 zero, zero, cup. Roger. Check tanks. Uh, oh, thanks. Switching to... Uh, Grant, are you just above us? Guys, out of interest, what is the reciprocal of 141? Three, one, one. It's going to be like... Three, two. Three, two, zero. Yeah, like three, two, zero. 320, Roger, let's freaking do it. Yeah, we're there. We're actually flying there, man. We're good. We're good. 
Uh, visual uh, slash tally, something on our nose. Aerial. Check your fuel, boys. Check your tanks. We switched over about a minute ago. Roger. 60 gallons right wing for high. And 61 gallons left wing. Any sightings of the base, guys? I'm in the left, but I got 75 in the right. All right. Visual base. Stand by the heading. Magnetic heading of break. 330.10 miles. AAA is live. 330, Roger. I got visual on the base. Yeah, we're right for it. I see AAA down there. Guys, fast slashing runs, please. There's a Monty behind us who's getting attacked by Fuck Wolf. I'm gonna help him. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna Let's help go him. You guys case. stay on we're target. Going. Four turning. All right, we're going. Okay, are you on target? Hi. Yeah, you want me to keep going to the base? I guess so. The other two, he doesn't need four of us, does he? Roger, I'll keep straight going to the base. Try going to the base. Uh, Shit and uh, uh, Fuck Wolf. Okay, two and four, when you're done, I'll see you at this base. Tally on the Fuck Wolf over the river. Hi, oh, you don't need to completely destroy the planes, just get a few bullets in them, they'll be unpliable pretty much. Yeah, who's the pony still going for the base above me? I'm here. Roger, I'm with you, Cap. I'm turning right so we can get a good run. Same. Yeah, I'll be behind you, man. You tally first, I'll be right behind you. Running in. Good luck, stay fast. Why are you sons of bitches? I think we've got Heinkers or Junkers, something big down there. Alright, let's drive those planes down there. Night line. Plane one destroyed. Hi, running in. I'm gonna pepper these four. I got him to break off. Nice work. Hi. Good effect on four bombers on the ground. High on a right hand turn for another pass. Cap. What? Roger. One more pass each, and then we're uh, on to the next thing. Roger. It's very hard with the uh, low frames. Rolling right behind you, Cap. Just found a 109. Watch the play. Yeah, you got that 109. All right, I think they're disabled. Hi. I just peppered all of those park big birds down there, but. I just found a bunch of fighters. Look in the hangars where there's like 10 hangars. There's a bunch of warbirds there. Ah, uh, Tali, Tali, yeah. Try and come in from the direction away from the airfield. Yeah, I'm turning left. And actually, let's go. We're gonna do east to west. Roger. One aircraft destroyed. Nice. Four more warbirds down there. Looking for them, I'm gonna roll in. Alright, the Fock Wolf is uh, being attacked by the second group of escorts uh, with the second group of Mozzies. Coming back to you guys. Good effect, breaking. I see fire down there. 109 down. I think I have a 109 on my six here. I, what is this? Visual, visual, coming. Yep, evasive, evasive. Yeah, I have something on my six cap. I'm breaking hard left. Yeah, it's a German. Hey, Grand Prix. It's a Dora. Oh I'm, my God. I'm with you. Okay, fly the plane, fly the plane, fly the plane. I had a moment, I've lost it. I'm coming now. Let's get him or a football.
back up going head on with him. There you go. Try not to fight over the field. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him in the circle, man. If you can go out and get him, I'm gonna keep him busy. Running in. Yeah, we're, we're locked in a two circle here. Get him. Uh, bad angle, I'll be back. Don't worry, man. I'm good, I'm good. I'm actually gaining on him. I'm gaining, I'm gaining. We got a mosquito on the fight. This guy won't die. We've hit him so many times. I'm dropping on him now. Is that you, sir? Yeah, where, where are the guys shooting this guy? He's gonna get us killed with this low flying shit. Or slow flying. Multiple hits. Good hit, Cap. He's dog meat. I think he's going down. Alright, let's finish off the space and then we'll get out of here before we run out of uh, fuel and luck. Good kill, man. Good kill. He's down. Yeah, good we'll teamwork. Good job, guys. We're right. still dealing with I'll, this buckle over man. here. I'm gonna drop down brake right. So it looks like uh, we got finally to drop the hydraulics. Uh, yeah, that's, that's just that's crazy. I think he might crash then. All static warbirds destroyed, I believe. Right, we're just waiting for two and four to get back and then we're getting the truck out of here, guys. I'm in two stages of flaps, just to go slow enough for to be. I'm just keeping on doing a high yo-yo and just booming and zooming. What's that behind those cup? I see a mozzie. I die. Left, what's that? I don't know, maybe a friendly. Break left, I'm gonna break right. Oh, that's a mozzie behind those. Roger, I'm up at 3,000. Yeah, so you climb. I think the most is attacking the field. He'll probably get shot down at this right the way he's flying. Yeah, that was. That's reckless. What do you want to do? I'm waiting for two and four, and then we're getting the trap out of here. Roy, let's climb then to Angel 5 just to be safe. Roger. I'm climbing on a right hand turn, Angel 5 over the earth. I just noticed my engine's overheating, so everyone better check. Roger. Open your cowling flaps if you need to. Alright, Force finally got that fall pulled down. Nice Force, come join us over the airfield and we'll fly back. Roger, headed to the airfield. He may have DC'd or crashed, I could see. Uh, I think Senior is DC'd or crashed. Ah, uh, gutted. Cool. Well, what's your progress of getting back to the airfield? Uh, I am north of the Eiffel Tower, headed towards the field. Roger, from the Eiffel Tower, it was about 320. Uh, direct route to home, I am guessing about 330, question mark? Roger that, Cap. It's gonna be more like 340, but oh yes. Alright, can you come and find me so that we're ready to go when Paul gets it? Yes, sir. I'm passing Angel 4 for Angel 6. Uh, I'm on a left hand turn. Trip A on you guys? Yeah, we're out of the effective range. Just shooting all over the place. Roger, visual on you. Uh, you're uh, 10 o'clock. Call it. All right, cap is setting course 340. Come and catch me up, guys. As we don't have any slow bombers to protect, we can outrun pretty much anything in the sky, guys. So I'm going to um, take us uh, the Mustang route. Are you guys keeping up okay? Yeah, I'm catching up little by little here. I'm a little bit under you. 
I'm going to do 40 psi. If you do uh, 45 psi, you've got some headroom. Yeah, I'm doing 45 right now, 2700. Anyone know optimum cruising altitude for this berth? Well, optimum we'll have to do like angels from 15 to 20. Oh, we're nearly 15, we're 12. Yeah, around, it, it likes it around here, around 15, 20, she likes it. That's a fat cloud up there. You flying below it? We're going through it, baby. There is something following us, there is something following us, FYI. I got him, alright. Should I make, I'm gonna make a left circle just to see, real quick. It's a German, cap turning. Breaking left. Do the reciprocal. Cap fire. Yeah. What? I don't see it. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Keep your attitude, keep your attitude. We're in your vicinity over, uh, what is that, Comrier? In Vixen, that airfield to the north of Paris. Uh, do you need any assistance? We do not. We're just taking care of a jerry and we're going home. God damn it, guys. It slipped out of my vision. Can you believe it? Don't worry, man. Don't worry. We're on the way out. It's okay. Resume heading if you want. It's annoying. He was definitely following us. All right. Let's uh, go on. going back. Got to try and find each other again. Uh, for what, what's going to go out? Yes, no, about 2,000 feet below us, about five miles back. Hey, Fair Royal, we keep an eye behind us all the way. Guys, I'm on 340, uh, getting altitude again. Yeah, I'm, I'm also turning back 340 and I'm passing Angel 4. Hey, it's like Gordon Flight, what's your approximate location? We don't really know is the answer. We're roughly heading back on 340, but I've got no long access for you because I don't really know, I've got no map. We're going to be maybe around 14 miles northwest of the attack field. Well, that man said. Something like that. All right, we're, we're in your general area, just let you know. Yeah, Roger, Roger. My temperature goes back to normal. She's purring like a kitten. Okay, Cap's reached 15,000. I think this will do for us. That's why I don't see you, Cap, because you're over the clouds. I'm under the clouds. <laughs> Order. Oh, I've managed to break my ADI, guys, so uh, no IFR for me. I'm back, guys. I'm going to try to land with you it, guys. It's gauged. Just make sure it's gauged. So ignore it. What happened? No, it's cocked to one side. My entire internet crashed. Okay. My entire internet went down. Man, that sucks. Sorry, eh? We were doing beautiful. Yeah, yeah. We're on our way to the French coast. Roger, I'll try to meet you guys. I somehow have to find you guys in the middle of the channel. Yeah, good luck with that. I'm at um, 18,000, by the way. It's ignoring. Roger, I could f uh, find your cons if you guys go into cons. How high would that be? Probably, like, high 20s. Good lord. You can do it! We got the supercharger! Put your oxygen mask on, Cap. <laughs> Hi, we're about 10 miles off the coast in my estimation progress report. I'm about to cross the coast now. Wow, you are so friggin' far ahead of us. No, I turned farther back to look for the bandit guys. I went behind you, but yeah, I'm catch up, catch up. Hey. Roger, were well, you gonna try and come up and meet us at some point, or what are you gonna do? Me? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I took off, I'm gonna meet you. Cap 30 left, 30 right. Roger. 40 left, 35 right. You guys feet wet? Just about. I, I'm, I'm behind you, I'm sure I'm behind you guys because I haven't crossed the, let me know when you cross the water. One mile feet wet, cap in the clouds. Thank you very much. 
gonna be just inside the woods. Let me pass this cloud and I'm gonna start looking for you. Okay, there are two planes chasing us, almost certainly friendly, about 15,000 feet, about 10 miles, 20 miles back, it's hard to tell. Yeah, Cap, that's us. Welcome, I'll race you back. I literally just got a text from my ISP that is notifying about an outage. A little late there, boys. Yeah, a little bit late. <laughs> you can invoice them for your lack of fun for 10 minutes. <laughs> right. Uh, what's your progress, Signore? Because we are 100% over the ocean. I'm 10,000 feet, about 15 miles uh, south of the coast. For max continuous. Oh, well, if you guys get even higher, you, we can go so fast. Okay, that's Friston. Visual Friston, follow me for. Copy, port. We're homing in on you, Signore. Roger. Hi, are you guys feet, one feet wet? Yeah, you know where feet were high. We said we were about 10 minutes ago. I'm at Angels 19 looking for you, boys. You're on the 340. We've now changed to 325. Roger, yeah, I'm following 335 right now, but I'm turning left looking for you. Oh, Tally, 11 o'clock. I have a spec on my 11 o'clock. That should be you, man. Hello, hi. See if I can catch up here. Just trying to make sure I'm like not inverted at this point. <laughs> Cap 15 uh, gallons right, 30 left, switching left. I'm gonna give it a little bit of full beans here. I'm gonna do 3,000 RPM just for uh, five minutes. Yeah, you can do it. Plus, it's nice and cold up here. You'll be fine. All right, Signore is almost up to 18,000. I'm looking for you guys. Roger, Signore. We can see where you took off from. Roger, I'm gonna continue into cons. So if you see my cons, uh, point me out and I'll come to you. Hi, have you still got visual on us? Yeah, I got you on my turbo clock. I just back on my turbo clock. I'm gonna throw it back, it's getting a little hot. Yeah, fine, you just keep on that vector. We've got to dive below the cloud now to keep visual on this um, on this VFR approach. Uh, look for the big uh, white cliff that sticks up. I that's going to be a good reference. I see if you guys are going to go under. Cloud, yeah, Signore, we feel like I'm about 20 miles out, to be honest now. I'll oh. pass you, then I'm turning around. Yep, turn around, come find us. I see the white cliffs on my two o'clock. Doesn't sound right. That must be no. That's Dover. That's Dover. Ignore that. Continue on your correct course. Do not go to Dover. Continuing on three two zero. I got a spec on three two zero right now around Angel 18. That sounds right. It's a white cliff like that, but it's only a very short, about one mile of cliff, if that. Signore, RTB back, look for the one mile stretch of uh, cliff. Roger, I'm 320 on the way back. I found you, I found one of you. Hello, Signore. How close are you and Grand Speed to each other, Cap? Uh, point blank. Oh shit, so I must be looking. Doesn't matter, If the, that will be far, he's a few miles behind us. Just. Him. Also trying to catch up here. I'm diving here. I'm gonna fly under this cloud. Roger, guys. I'll give a couple of orbits. Remember, you look for the one mile stretch of uh, white cliff. Can't miss us. You got long stretch, short stretch, and then long stretch. Headed for the short stretch. Right, with the with the highest part of the cliff. Cap, celebrate, celebratory gunfire. Oh, I can see that. I can see those. Big old tracer. Who needs flares when you got tracers? Yeah. Cap Winchester left orbit airfield descending. Top of 50s inter intersecting looks so cool. Now this was a fun mission. 
Oh yeah. I think this is the most fun whatever mission I've done, guys, with you. Roger, uh, Simba says they've just landed at Ford with the mozzies. Well done to them. I got visual on you guys. I can intercept like maybe like in two minutes max. All right, I'll take us around for a last orbit. Uh, be clever. Okay, I'm coming in on your right, on your left wing right now. I gotta go higher, or else this is gonna get. I see five birds on the circle there. Five birds. Use uh, stage one flap as an air brake. It works nicely. I'm feet dry right now. I got you visual on my turbo clock. I see five planes on my turbo clock. Ultimate sexiness. How do I jet this canopy? Uh, red lever, right. Stand by. Woo! <laughs> Correct attitude. All right, that's me. Okay, I'm joining on... Cap. Hey, hi. Oh, I'm going to overshoot. Sorry, I'm going to climb here. Just get a yo-yo in there. We're on base. Don't lose the visual. Formation base. Make 160 knots. Did my gear come out, Ignore it. Roger, you're, you're good. Retard. Make 140. Make 130. We're going on at the same time. Yes, of course. Roger. Okay, I'm landing right here. side. I'm fine now. I got right side. And cut. That is not an easy runway to land on. Alright, run long if you can. Yes, we can. Yes, we freaking can. Oh, you twats! Oh, no! Oh. I've been hit oh, in the that? back! Oh, we're stabbed in the back. Sorry, Sig. Well done, guys. That was super sexy. There's no other way to say it. And our landing attrition weight was better than usual. Who's here? Oh, no canopy. Mustang. Hello, boys. Hello, boys. Hello, hi. Welcome back to Debrief, Humanoids. Um, Charlie, do you want to do objectives or do you want to do flights? Uh, I'll just do a quick thing to begin with. Uh, so the Mosquitoes, your historical mission was to uh, destroy the uh, radio transmitter tower. Uh, you did destroy that pretty much on time. You may have been maybe 60 seconds late, but pretty much right on time. So well done there. The German HQ at the Hotel Maurice. Uh, you got bombs in their uh, car park. You blew up the uh, German general's Horch staff car that was parked out front. You damaged the building. You didn't destroy any of it, but it was it was uh, suppressed at least. And then uh, Cap, I saw you joining in with the uh, flower mm. uh, attacking the airfields. That seemed to go very well, though you did take casualties as a group. All right. Uh, flight, I don't know who's who, but flight one, go. Uh, so Bean is here, the useless navigator of Tanky. Huh. Um, so, yeah, our plan, as you probably guessed, was to basically go down south and use you guys as a sort of meat shield diversion. Just Bean. Um, yeah. Did you and, find uh, France? So we went down, well, we went to La Havre. Um, unfortunately, there was a U-boat flak in the harbour at La Havre. Hmm. And we might have slightly got perforated uh, portside engine, uh, myself and Tanky. And we made about halfway down the Seine River before we conked out and lost hmm. an engine. And then uh, Damp took over from there. So I don't know if Damp's still here. He can take over the debrief. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I took over for uh, being a Tanky. After that... Matrix, Harath, and Simba, as well as who was my other guy? Five. Oh, anyway, I, I had a, I had two other mosquitoes behind me. Uh, we continued the mission um, where we engaged the tower first. We we're about, like you said, about sixty seconds uh, after time. But after that, we decided to drop the rest of our bombs on the target or the the hotel de invalides thing. I think. 
yeah, that thing. Um, I dropped my bombs somewhere else. Somebody else dropped their bombs wide, and somebody else hit, I think. And that was us. I, I ended up getting damaged during this and ditching my aircraft in the backyard of the Palace of Versailles. There you go. Uh, Simba, Simba's bombs were the ones that caught the garden on fire, and I knocked on the door with a rocket to the hotel. The Matrix uh, arrived a little ahead of the others. We dropped some bombs just like went slightly longer the hotel, and the rockets damaged the mast but didn't destroy it. But we got shot down on the way home. Uh, mm. Also landed near the Palace of Versailles. Roger. Simba made it home. This one goes. Nice. Next flight, please. Ramrod two. Arty. Well, I didn't know a lot of what was going on there because nothing was working on my mm. cockpit. Uh, in fact, I didn't have a cockpit. All I had was an external view. So what the heck? Flew it anyway. Managed to get us there. I think slightly late. Dropped bombs. I think we hit the target or certainly the target area. Not sure if we actually hit the target itself. Uh, sharp turn round and flew back uneventful didn't see any um, fighters had had escorts which was nice and um, landed okay I saw a bit of flak on the way and that was it relatively uneventful anybody else from my flight I'm not even in, if you know if I was in the right flight to be honest hmm. you were around you yeah nothing surprised here so managed to get there bump yeah made it back home Fine. Roger. Guys, next flight, please. Fire dad, potion, blight, I think. Yeah, give me one second. Oh, okay, sorry about that. The uh, So, uh, Gordon flight, we took off. We went with the two spits over to uh, did flower objective on the airfield at Facomp. Uh, we managed to take out all the aircraft there, so they didn't bug anyone making their ingresses. Uh, we lost um, blight on one of the runs, but... Um, uh, what was it? Um, Poosh and I managed to go back to base, rearm, refuel, and then take off and try to meet you guys in flight to see if you need any help. And then uh, did the landing back at the base. Roger. Next flight, please. Senora Capline Grandspeed. We took off, uh, flew to Dieppe well before time because we're freaking efficient and awesome. Waited for the Mozzies to, for at least to go the right way. Met up with them, escorted them protect them as best we could, shot down loads of fighters over Paris, got bored, so we went and did the other guy's mission at, what was it, some thing, some base we had to go and blow up. That airfield, yeah. Uh, one guy blacked out, but he came back in, and we all made it back for a former four-man formation landing, which is pretty dang sweet. Uh, that's it, couldn't go much better. Next flight, please. Yeah, that's Wickham, uh, Strop and Red in the Spitfires. Um, we took off without any crashing, which was good. Um, we made our no own navigation to the enemy airfield. Um, we did get our bombs off. We were going for the hangars. Uh, I think mine was just in front of the hangars and then red were just short. Um, we tried to stick around, uh, take out some of the AA, um, but I think we both got pilot sniped, so that was us. Roger, boys, next flight, please. I think that's everyone. Summary, that's it. Summary Charlie. No, nothing more to add. Uh, yeah, well done on a uh, impressive bit of navigation. I saw uh, RT was 15 yards off course after 150 miles. That was very impressive. Uh, yeah, arrived especially on time. As, especially as I didn't have a compass or anything. Was yeah, that was very well done. By eye. <laughs> uh, yeah, so well done. Oh, it just shows you just never know what's going around you. We were flying all four of us in formation. We didn't realize this bloody mozzie was getting shot below us. Oh, we did actually. doesn't matter. Scratch that. We're so good. Right. We wouldn't have if we hadn't seen the, the uh, tracers, though, from the AAA. Yeah. Right. Wow. It's amazing what you can do. And all this stuff was done without map viewers, so we had to do, had to do it all for the cockpit. We did really well. Happy with that. Hope you enjoyed that, everyone. And we'll see you later.